Hi friends, welcome to Intellect Medicos, learning made easy. If you haven't subscribed till yet, do subscribe our channel to get the updates about my new videos. Today, we will discuss about Glasgow Coma Scale with some interesting mnemonics and animations. First of all, this scale was first published by Teasdale and Janet in 1974 for the assessment of coma and impaired consciousness. It was initially used to assess level of consciousness after head injury and the scale is now used for all acute medical and trauma patients. In hospitals, it is also used in monitoring chronic patients in intensive care. It is divided into three categories. First is eye response. It has a minimum score of 1 and maximum score of 4. You can memorize maximum score by these eyes with spectacles. Second is verbal response. Minimum score is 1 and maximum score is 5. And how to memorize this? As 5 has V in it, so 5 for verbal response. And the last is motor response. Minimum score is 1 and maximum 6. So minimum GCS score is 3 and maximum is 15. Before performing these tests for GCS assessment, you should do a preliminary check that no factor should be there which can interfere with our assessment like there should be no sedation, paralysis, any hearing impairment or any other factor. Now coming on to checking eye response. You can memorize this with a sports channel ESPN. E for eye opening spontaneously. If patient spontaneously opens eye, then eye score is 4. S for sound, that is eye opening to verbal stimuli. If on calling or asking to open the eyes, patient open eye, then eye score is 3. P for pain. If patient open eye on giving painful stimuli, that is on pressing trapezius or supraorbital notch then eye score is 2 and if there is no response then eye score is 1. Now coming on to verbal response. You can memorize this by a mnemonic our country win and also keep this picture in mind. This is my special picture of our team holding the world cup trophy especially the Sachin. Actually pictorial images remain in our mind for longer time so whenever you make a mnemonic do try it to relate it with a picture. Coming back to mnemonic. O in R stands for oriented. If you ask a patient where are you and which month is it and if he or she answers correctly that I am at hospital that means patient is oriented so verbal score is 5. C in country stands for confused. If patient replies that I don't know or say something like maybe at a hotel that means he is confused so verbal score is 4. W stands for words inappropriately used like if he says cricket or hotel out of a blue then verbal score is 3. I stands for inappropriate sounds like if he or she makes some sort of sounds like mm, e, uh, then verbal score is 2. N stands for no response. Verbal score is then 1. Coming on to last test that is to check motor response. You can memorize with a mnemonic can't live without my fans. A statement given by Sachin. Do keep this picture of his fan in your mind. C in can't stands for obeying commands. If you ask a patient to protrude his or her tongue or to elevate any limb, if he or she does so, then that means patient is obeying commands. So motor score is 6. L in live stands for localizes to pain. If on giving pain, he or she correctly localizes pain or tries to remove that painful stimulus, then motor response is 5. W in without stands for withdraws to pain. Then motor score is 4. F stands for abnormal flexion, which is also referred as decorticate posturing as you can see in this picture. A stands for abnormal extension, also referred as decerebrate posturing as shown. As in decerebrate, 
there occurs extra E in comparison to decorticate. So extension is there in decelebrate. Lastly, N stands for no response. So motor response is 1. After assessing the patient, you have to sum up the scores of all three responses. That will be the GCS score out of 15. If there occurs some local factors which interfere with eye opening, then eye open eye response is noted as not testable. If patient can't verbalize like if intubated or tracheostomized, then verbal response is noted as not testable. Or if patient is paralyzed due to some reasons, then motor response can't be tested and noted as not testable. This is all about Glasgow Coma Scale. I hope now it will be easy for you to remember and to quickly calculate the GCS score of a patient. If you like the video and content, do like and share the video and do not forget to subscribe our channel to get the updates about my new videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you.